Hey guys, today we're gonna to be doing something a little more fun. It's the weekend. We're gonna go over to my buddy's shop, uh, my buddy Jake, see what he's up to with his Mustang. It's a good warm day, so uh, figure it'd be something fun. Um, yeah, so it's a little bit of a drive, 30 minutes or something. I'll show you a little bit of the scenery because I'm from Iowa, which is basically like hell. If you're not from the Midwest, this is what it looks like, especially in Iowa. Nothing but fucking corn and beans everywhere. I refer to it as a desert almost, not because of its lack of water, just because of just the beige rolling hills. I mean, it is almost depressing to live here. I mean, there is nothing. There's no trees. There's no big towns unless you get up into the cities. It's just farm ground as far as the eye can see forever. And it just becomes like a sea of sand almost. Yeah, it's pretty depressing. The only good things about Iowa, though, are uh, Slipknot and E85 is literally everywhere. And it's like a dollar because all of the subsidy money. Iowa actually has a pretty good car scene, believe it or not, for being a wasteland, more or less. Because that's all kids do. You either build a race car, hang out with your buddies, or you do meth. One of the two. That's all there is to do, so. <laughs> Alright, here we are. What up? Flick speed shed. Red Jake's now. Here's his Mustang. He's always doing some sort of little something something to it. His channel is called Turbo Gary, no space on YouTube. Check him out. If you like my kind of videos, you'll definitely like his stuff because he's got, as you can tell, the, the big poppy on here. Four valve goodness. No LS. Thank you. No, no freaking LSs. Here's a turbo kit that me and him built. I did the welding on it and it was a collaboration between him and me. Looks pretty good. Um, another thing I did on this car, you've seen my video with the cage and you're like, oh my god, look at that horrible fucking cage, but I can make a nice cage. This one turned out really nice. I wish it was in my car, but I'm just working with what I've got. If I was to redo it, I would do something like this, but this was a, what was this, Team Z or Racecraft? Team Z. Team Z. Uh, they're eight point chromoly. Went yeah. together very well if overall. What's nice about this is it's all uh, pre-notched, so it's just kind of hold and stick. Like the tubes are actually cut around the other tubes, whereas you, if you look at my cage, it's just, they like butt welded the pipes, which is also not what you're supposed to do. Heck, but, we had it together in a weekend. Yeah, we literally did it in one night. It, I, I don't know, it took like a maybe five to eight hours or something like that but that was completely starting from nothing and then done in eight hours so that's pretty good with just me welding it if we had two welders going we probably got it done in half the time didn't you take the front windshield out actually no we didn't even have to take the windshield out and the cage fits really tight too so which is good he's working on some sort of rear mount radiator now on this thing I'm sure he'll have a video up on it. I'm trying to get done for springtime. Oh yeah, we're counting the days. Yeah. Here's his sweet intake that he's been working on. He's got some videos on how to do that. If anybody knows anything about four valves is they don't make aftermarket intakes for these. There's only like one company that does. So you either got to, or there's two, there's Hogan, but they're like 1500 bucks, so. I'm pretty sure he has a lot less than 1500 bucks in this. But yeah, if you've ever wondered what our plans are with these cars is we just basically, we're not no big time. And as you've seen, both of us, we're just garage mechanics, just self-taught. We don't got no backers, no big sponsors. We both work just nine to five jobs that are underpaid. <laughs> we swear where we blow all our money at, just like, 99% of the grassroots people out there. We're getting a lot faster. I mean, both my car's in the fives and the eighth mile. That's what we primarily run just because our local track is only eighth mile. And that's where all the grudge scenes at, the grudge, the no prep stuff you see on TV, Street Outlaws, all that's eighth mile. 
This car could probably do a quarter mile hit. My car will probably fucking melt down after the eighth because it, it'll just grenade. So that's, I only desire to run eighth mile. Uh, we do have another local track. It's a little bit farther away. It's quarter mile. Uh, I might go up there. It's a real nice looking track. Cordova? Yeah, Cordova. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what his plans are particular with this. I mean, I foresee this is a good motor setup in here, and this is a good car when he gets it all done. I, this car could easily dip down into the fours. It'll be, you know, 1,100 horsepower easy. My car, the limiting factor is the block itself, like I've talked about before. If I had a little bit better motor, I could, you know, get down there, but I'm real happy with just running in the fives. It, not too many people run in the fives. I mean, that's it takes a lot of power to do that. And not just a lot of power, but a good setup car. I mean, it's the tranny, the converter, the suspension, the tires, everything. If you don't have all that, you're not going to go anywhere. So that's kind of where we're at. We're just working piece by piece on these cars until we kind of do what we want to do. We just want to get to where we can hang with the big guys and not. Yeah, the goals right now for Gary's are as a five for sure. I never had one yet. So going to give it hell and send it all the way through. But, uh. We'll see what she can do and go from there. Yeah, I'm confident that this thing's gonna run good. These four valves are known for good power once they're built up. And that's a 88 on there, right? 88, yeah. uh, PT8884. Yeah, that's a big turbo. But it's just nice. If you've ever wondered why his channel's called Turbo Gary, here's why. Long story short, he kind of went into detail. There was a Gary sticker from SpongeBob, but it was just the outline of it. It was all black. So you couldn't see it up here in the dot matrix. And I don't remember who's seen it. I don't know if it was me it was Ross. or Ross or somebody seen there was like, why is there a Gary sticker on there? So then just naturally the car started getting called Gary and now Gary has a turbo. <laughs> <laughs> so Gary is no, no longer a slug. He's going to be fast. If you watch uh, Turbo Gary's YouTube channel, he doesn't just do mod motor stuff. He's got, he's working on a little 351 Windsor build, and he does some small block Chevy stuff. He really just kind of dabbles in anything, anything yeah. mechanical. Yeah. Sadly, there's an LS sitting right over there. Yeah, there's an LS over there. Yeah, get the hell out of here, though. Honestly. He just kind of works on whatever, and he's pretty good at building motors. Mine's lasted this long, so. It looks like a mess in here, but when I put stuff together, it's pretty cleanliness yeah. overall. Got too much, too many irons in the fire, as you can call it. Yep, like I said, we're just, we both got our own little shops here and that we just kind of... We're just wrenching for what we got and what we yep, can do. Yep, yep. Well, guys, that was Turbo Gary's, a.k.a. Jake's shop. Uh, just left from there stopped off at this uh, little my favorite burger joint here off the highway get some lunch as Always if you enjoy the videos hit that subscribe uh, any subscribers are appreciated and uh, Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one